Hey guys, and welcome back to Corpse Party Blood Drive, and we're going to continue on in Chapter 9. We're playing as Ayumi and Aiko, and we're going to keep on keeping on. So let's see, we're going to enter the main building now. So we're going to run across this covered walkway. This is the same route that the other group also took with Miss Kuan and Satoshi and Yoshiki. So let's see what we're going to do now. So we're going to make our way to 5A. So let's see where that is let me go and pull up the map real quick all right naomi i'm gonna go butter up my pooper with a real good wait what psycho naomi i'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good uh shinohara no one was there that was fucking weird all right so this is the main hall but farther back in the hall i heard the sounds of someone running What's wrong, Ayumi? I just heard a friend's voice. So that was the other girl that committed suicide, or that was hung here. But we're gonna make our way to class 5A, which is, um, so this is the door. So this is the passage. So we go up and it's the first room to the left. So we just go up where we saw, we heard the people running, which is uh, a good, Okay, so we're gonna see something here. Naomi! Seiko? Sinohara? So this is the girl in the first game. Clomp, 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 snap, snap. In the hall, hallway nearby, I could hear the sounds of footsteps accompanied by a strange snapping noise. Uh, residual spirits. I remember. I heard about them from Hanoi. Spirits you normally can't speak unless they amass enough spiritual energy or hatred. So they communicate unconsciously. Memories of the past events that meant or meant a lot to them are being played back over and over again, like they've melted into the walls. Sinohara, are you there? I felt the tear stream down my neck. But there was only my or uh, but that was my only answer. Snap, snap. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You've lost your entire existence. I never could have imagined something like this would ever happen. The repeating sounds of the footsteps, unchanged from before, somehow seemed like an answer. And for whatever reason, I found it oddly comforting, like she was my guardian angel. I'm going to do something about it, okay? If And if I die, I'll come back here again to apologize. I felt strong, I, f I very strongly felt a presence right behind me. I quickly turned heel to catch sight of whatever might have been, but surprisingly, no one was there. Ayumi? Something's following us. Is it a spirit? I'm not getting any malicious feelings from it, at least. Come on, let's go. Alright, so we got that out of the way, and let's see what we have to do here. So we're going to run up to class 5A, like I was saying, so we're going to go up the main hall, and 5A is this building right here. Okay. Okay, let's see. We are going to the center table, so we're going to make our way there. This is it. And it is an, uh, a Ouija board. Sinohara, Sinohara, are you there? Do you have anything you want to talk about? How is Naomi? You don't know what's happening? I can not see from here okay oh well you're always on Nakashima's mind I am glad tell Naomi I am happy and we'll move on What? But you can't escape from here. 
It is a lie, but tell her anyways. Oh, wow. That's, I mean, that, that will make her feel better. So, I mean, good honor. Good job, Seiko. The living need to move on more. Wow. Those are words to, move, uh, to live by. Sinohara. Save, same for you, Ayumi. Please take care. Okay. Ayumi. All right, there you have it. So that was our communications with Seiko, the best friend of the other girl, Naomi. And we got some bandages, and we're gonna head on out now. Now exit. All right, so now we're gonna go north, and then east. Okay, so we're gonna go north and then east. So, let's continue on. All right. Oh, wait, wait, we're gonna go south and then west. So down and to the left. My bad. So we're gonna go south. And then to the class 6A. 6A is this hallway right here, this one. Wait, did I pass it? Um, I'm pretty sure one of these doors. Uh, the door has been eaten away by Nirvana and would likely never be opened again. Is it this one? The door has been eaten away. Okay, wait. Wait a second. Um, head south, west, and now... Okay. Head to... Oh, the southwest stairs. Okay. That's odd. So we're going to end up in 6A, but we're taking the stairs. So we're just going to run this way, southwest, and take the stairs, the southwest stairs, okay. And let's see where we're going to end up, and we're in class 6A, like I said, and we're going to go, and, oh shit, I didn't even see that, fuck me, my ass. Alright, something appears on the floor, talisman, boom, and we'll grab this. Name tag rests besides the corpse, the Ariola International Junior High Class 2D Hitomi uh, Nishizaka. Suffered fatigue and starvation, but was consumed by the Nirvana before proper death could occur. The blue light was hung over the corpse has disappeared. So we just walk over this. And I think we're supposed to leave. Let me just check real quick. Uh, the spirit appears if you go into the corner, banish the spirit, and then that's two out of seven. Head back to the first floor through the door and go to the first floor east stairs. Okay. Okay, we're going to get out of here. So, we are now heading back to the first floor through the door, and now we're going to go to the east stairs. So, it's on the other side. And we should be able to move forward. Get around this. Get around that. Watch out for traps. Watch out for all those other nasty things. No running in the halls. Walk through this. Walk around. And walk through this gunk. And boom. Perfect. Alright, let's see where we have to go. All right, head back to the first floor, go through the east stairs, end up in the second floor west hall, and walk north. So we're going to walk up. All right. Here we go. So we're going to walk up, and we are... There's batteries up there that we can grab. So Almighty God cleanses this child's sins. The Lord hath spoken. No soul may reside in trees that had died. Villager. Ah! What, what's a villager doing here? Two voices. One was angry, judgmental male voice, while the other was veil, ma female. Oh, shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only two entrances into the room were all sealed shut. The doors were affixed to the walls like models. They showed no indications that they were ever meant to be opened. I hear someone in there. Someone's still alive, maybe. 
It could easily be a trap, though. Still. Okay. So, we are... I didn't see that. That was a, that was a dirty trick. Should be batteries somewhere around here. Yep, right there. So we are going to cut this wire. Grab the batteries. And head back down. And then we're going to save. And then enter classroom 1A. So let's check which one 1A one, one is. 1A is the room furthest to the top. I think. I think it's this one. Nope. Okay. Is it this door? Ah, it's the door next to the safe safe. Okay. So we're gonna enter this. Let's see. So we're gonna there is a tag. So we're gonna Corpse tag somewhere around here, so we just gotta watch out. This is where I usually take the most damage. Because of stupid shit. Uh, walk around this trap. Oh, I didn't fucking see it. God damn it. I was looking at this thing. Name tag rests besides the corpse, the Martuba's tomb researcher Hina Hakusen. Unknown large chunk missing from the left breast to the left arm. Seemingly eaten by a wild beast or beasts. The blue light that hung over the corpse has disappeared. So we walk around. Ah, what the fuck? Alright, alright, alright. What the fuck did I even take? She just like tripped on the damn desk. Alright, whatever. We're gonna switch to our inventory and heal up Ayumi. Or we can switch to Aiko, but we should be okay. Bandages. Boom. Perfect. Wow. Wow. We did it. Okay, so... Um... Okay, bandages, and then we can grab, get the bandages, and now we can exit. And then, can we exit here? Nope. So we gotta walk around. Let's take our time. Walk this way, walk around this. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're good. Okay, so we're going to exit out of here. Uh, go north and then east. Okay. Let's see. We should be making way. So we're going to go north and then to the right. So up to the right and banish the paper or banish the... There's going to be a spirit here that we're going to have to banish in front of the infirmary. Uh, I didn't see that. God damn it. All right, we got a talisman. Uh, keep going right. Spirit near the infirmary. This is the infirmary. Aha! Got it. Okay. Okay, now backtrack and enter the classroom 3A. So let's ch take a look. 3A is the room right here. This one. Alright, so this is 3A. Let's check out what's in 3A. Okay. Alright, so there should be a body a tag in here. Watch out for all the traps. And these are obviously Martubus uh, researchers, so name tag rest besides the corpse. The Martubus tomb researcher, Maki Kato. Unknown, large hole found in abdomen. The blue light that hung over the corpse has disappeared. So now we exit. Get the hell out of here. Alright. Let's see. Now head to the second floor southeast stairs. Okay, so this is the east stairs, and now this is the northeast stairs, and now we just need to go to the southeast stairs, which are down here, I assume. All the way down here. Holy moly. Alright, here we go. 
Okay. Click the right door. So we're gonna grab this. Got a talisman. Wait, what the hell? Where am I? Uh, item. Click on the right door and use the paper on the spirit. What? So we go in here and we click on the right door. And there's doors there? I didn't even see it. Oh, there. Holy shit! That scared me. Got him. Okay, so there you go. Uh, use the paper on the spirit. Uh, no more in this section. Last is in the underground 